California. Yep. Okay. Um, I was gonna take off the jacket real quick. Is it okay? And then I'll put the mic back on right here. Yeah, okay. I can do that for you. Cool. Yeah. Thank you. You wanna take your coat off? Yes, please. Yeah. Got a cool meaning. It means a uh, gift from God. Is that one? But then my last name means the beef. So my name means thank God for beef. Thank you. You guys like that. You're from Arizona. I like that. Yeah. Alrighty. Where are you from, Scottsdale? Uh, Tucson. 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 Scottsdale is fun. I went to Scottsdale. Really? Is it from, from Chicago? Chicago. Chicago. You see a lot of Chicago themed things. Really? You'll see a lot of Chicago stuff in this film. A lot of the actors who are in this movie are from Chicago. Yeah, it's where Andy Diz does it. He just does it that way. It's his company. It's yeah. his company. Yeah. And it's in the film. We saw that last night. Mm -hmm. We were looking at the movie. We were watching the movie. His dad's in the film. Yeah. His dad plays my grandfather. Yeah. And his son is one of Patricia Arquette's. Uh, you know, uh, uh, one of the Kate Barlow's gang. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Was his daughter in the pool scene? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, no, she asked him to, she, he asked her to do it, and she said no. She said no. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. He's trying to get the whole family in that movie, though. Can I see Okay, all right. Jim? Yeah. Okay. Or Cleo and Shia, good to meet you guys. Shia, check yourself before you no, wreck I yourself. I just did that on purpose. I'm Shia. taking you. Because tell us what it means. It means gift from God. Shy means gift yeah. from God, which and is last great. Name? Last name means the beef. So in total, it means, let's say, thank God for <laughs> beef. <laughs> thank God for beef. Yeah. Okay, all day I've been thinking, I'm going to blow his first name. And I did, but at least we got <laughs> the story from you guys. Do you agree with me that the kids that read this book, Holes, love it. Ernie loved the novel. Yeah. Uh, Lewis Sacher's novel that they're going to like the movie because he wrote the screenplay. And was, was on, on set, set every day. Time, right. And it's very true to his novel. Would you guys agree with that? Very. Yeah. I mean, after after seeing, well, go ahead, go ahead, Cleve. Um, because, you know, he made it that, you know, it would be exactly like the book. You know, there's little things, you know, they wouldn't, it's not exactly like the book, but if you really look at the movie, it is exactly how you would picture it. If you were thinking it in your mind, that's this is how you would picture it. Uh, especially the breaking away to three different stories of three different times, and you tie, it ties together so beautifully right. in the yeah. movie. Yeah, yeah. The editing was great on the film, and that's that's one of those things you notice after you filmed it. You know, it's like we were filming it, but we were filming three different movies at the same time. You know, we're filming my personal life, the life at the camp, and then Kate Barlow stuff. Yeah. So like I wasn't around for most of Kate Barlow stuff. So when we first saw the film, it was like we were watching a whole new thing because yeah. we didn't know anything about the vision we weren't informed about it and he was just going he was just like boom boom let's go. pump this out and it works you read the book several times yeah so this when you were cast for this part as caveman it had to be like a dream come true well i had read the book after i read the script oh okay. i read the script before going into audition um then i got the role and uh met lewis and after meeting Lewis, I was intrigued by Lewis and decided to read the book because of Lewis. Mm. Not because of the, you know, oh, the script. I mean, the script was written by the same person. It seemed like it'd be the same thing. I just wanted to see his writing style. So I read Holes. You both play teenagers sent to this camp in Texas, mm. uh, Camp Green Lake, that doesn't have a lake, which is supposed to build a character by digging holes. holes. And... Did it develop character by being working on the set? Well, this guy, the only thing it developed for us, he got a heat rash right away. Yeah. A heat rash in his, tell him about the heat rash, Cleve. Uh, I got a heat rash in my thighs uh, the first two weeks we were there. And um, I went to go ask the uh, medic for some lotion so I can, you know, make it, you know, just calm it down. Because it was burning. So um, she ended up giving me the lotion that has the uh, alcohol, alcohol in it. Oh my God. So I'm jumping around in the school trailers screaming. They can hear me on set. Like, who is that? Screaming. And it's, you know, they had and to just push me down with water. And Cleo was breakdancing. And we're like, ah, oh, Cleo! <laughs> I was burning. Just, it hurts so much. But, you know, well, out there in the desert, yeah. 
life and death valley. Uh, it's it's the kids that gonna everybody's gonna like this movie. It's a good family film. We're hoping. And, uh, mm -hmm. It's a mystery too. And it's a mystery you were too. saying it's three different stories. Yes. Yeah. There's just a lot going on, and you guys did a, just a wonderful job, and I want to congratulate Thank you. you. Thank you. There's just so much more to talk about, but we are out of time, but I hope our audience takes time, whether it's in Japan that are watching this interview or Please. all over Arizona. Don't miss holes. It's a winner, believe me. You, sir, I love you already. Yeah, yeah. we got to give him a name. <laughs> what are we we didn't give him a name. You can give him a nickname uh, yet. Yeah.